morning a message on a bright and shining light, and it is interesting and was not planned except by God that the Advent candle reading was on John the Baptist, because that's what this is. This message is on John the Baptist, the prophet of Jesus. And as we will hear in all of the Advent readings throughout December, Jesus' coming was foretold by many prophets, Isaiah, Ezekiel, even by God himself in the very first book of the Bible, Genesis. The coming of Jesus was foretold. But the one prophet, the one prophet that was most special in his life was John the Baptist. John the Baptist identified Jesus as the Messiah after he appeared on earth. John the Baptist explained Jesus after he came. And John's character and life tells us Christians how to proclaim Jesus. John the Baptist proclaimed Jesus as the Christ when he was on earth, and his life and his character tells us Christians how to proclaim the Messiah to others. Jesus himself described John the Baptist his own prophet in this way in the Gospel of John chapter 5 verse 35 Jesus said of John the Baptist he was the burning and shining lamp and you were willing for a time to rejoice in his light another translation says a bright and shining light. John was a bright and shining light according to Jesus. So let's look at this burning and shining light. First, John had a special birth. John the Baptist was born in a special way, ordained by God. As it says in Luke 1, 5-15. Listen to the word of God. <coughs> there was in the days of Herod, king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was, the daughter, was of the daughters of Aaron, one of the first priests, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. But they had no child because Elizabeth was barren, and they were both well advanced in years. So it was that while he was serving as priest before God in the order of his division, according to the custom of the priesthood, his lot fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people was praying outside at the hour of incense. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son. And you shall call his name John, and you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will also be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. John the Baptist, Jesus' prophet, was from a priestly family. His parents were godly righteous people. They were old, and his birth was a miracle. He never drank alcohol and was filled with the Holy Spirit, even in his mother's womb. A very special child indeed, from a noble background, a religious background, 
and devout from a very early age.